The biggest gathering of mainline steam locomotives in 1990 took place in St. Louis, Missouri, at the site of the former St. Louis Union Station. From Thursday, June 14th through Sunday, June 17th, the National Railway Historical Society hosted its annual convention, which included a variety of vendors, swap meets, guest speakers, video screenings, and for the main attraction, a gathering of four of the largest mainline steam locomotives from all parts of the country. The evening before the convention officially began, Combeck Publishing and Trains Magazine hosted a private photo session in celebration of Trains' 50th year of publishing, which included a side-by-side -side staging of all four visiting steam locomotives, which would be used in the November 1990 edition of Trains Magazine. Headquartered in Kirkwood, Missouri, just 15 miles west of downtown St. Louis, and the first to check in for the convention the week prior was the Frisco 1522. Arriving second from Cheyenne, Wyoming on Monday, June 11th, and traveling the farthest of the four steamers was the Union Pacific 844. Rolling in the next day from Roanoke, Virginia on Tuesday, June 12th, and the largest engine to attend the event was the Norfolk and Western 1218. Absent from the photo shoot was the fourth and final attendee of the convention. Unfortunately, due to its late arrival from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, the Cotton Belt 819 was not able to make the photo session. Later, the steamers would make their way down the line back to Union Station, where they would finally meet up with the 819. Earlier that morning, finds the 819 preparing to depart Scott City, Missouri, on the final leg of her two-day journey from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, to St. Louis for the convention. The engine and her consist spent the night in the yard at Scott City, or Ilmo as it's referred to on the railroad, having arrived the previous evening. Today's trip will take the 819 and her train along the Illinois side of the Mississippi River on Missouri Pacific trackage, following the former route of the Cotton Belt's Lone Star passenger train. With a grade of 0.5% or less and a good portion of the route cutting across the flat Illinois countryside, the 819 will have much ground to cover at the allowable track speed, 55 miles an hour. Lacking an auxiliary tender, a servicing stop will be required at the halfway point in Chester, Illinois to take on water. Heading east out of Scott City, the train makes its way across the Thebes Bridge, crossing the Mississippi River into southern Illinois. At Gorham, the 819 is really moving as she makes full track speed towards Lake Street. Chester, a large crowd gathers around the engine as the local fire department tops off the 819's tender. 
The 819 was built by the Cotton Belt's Pine Bluff, Arkansas shops in 1942, primarily for freight service. She was also the last steam locomotive built for the railroad. She was retired in 1953, having accumulated over 800,000 revenue miles during her short 10 and a half year career. In 1955, she was moved to Oakland Park, where she sat on display outdoors for nearly three decades. Unfortunately, during that time, the locomotive was subjected to the elements and numerous forms of vandalism. But in 1983, the newly formed Cotton Belt Rail Historical Society convinced the railroad to move the engine to the old machine shops in Pine Bluff, where they planned to only cosmetically restore the engine. Unbeknownst to the Cotton Belt, the volunteers had different plans for the 819, and within three years and $125,000 later, the 819 was back under steam once again. in the Cotton Belt's East St. Louis Yard. Today's 124-mile excursion has come to an end. Here, the passengers will be bussed into St. Louis, and the 819 will be cut off the train and moved to the engine servicing facility near Valley Junction. Late in the evening, after being washed, polished, and turned on the turntable, the 819 heads for Union Station to join the other three engines, where she will remain on display until the conclusion of the convention. With the sun about to set, the 819 backs across the MacArthur Bridge, crossing the Mississippi River for the final time into St. Louis. For more information on the 819 and other models for Train Simulator, visit K&L Trains online at www.kltrains.com.